Hiya crafters, Amy here, and I have a no stamping single layer card to share with you today. It's a new home card and I made it with a stencil. Now this is the Row of Houses stencil. This is one of the new stencils at A Colorful Life Designs, the April 2022 release, and it's fabulous. And then I also have the Beginnings stencil. This is a nice sentiment stencil, and this is how I don't have to use any stamping. So here's a photo of the finished card today. It's a new beginnings, new memories, new home. I thought that was just such a sweet sentiment and I love that I can do this all with simple ink blending in a snap and not even have to stamp if I don't want to. So here you can see I'm working directly on a card base. That's what makes it single layer. And I'm just kind of masking off portions of this card base with my uh, post-it masking tape. And I'm working directly on my Wendy Vecchi Station tool and I'm using my blending brush um, that's for the black or gray family. So I'm kind of starting off with the middle row, knowing that I wanna go darker with the silhouette in the front and kind of go lighter um, in the grays as I go backwards in the scene. So you can see I used um, kind of a medium hand and now I'm using a very light hand on this final row and I'm kind of moving the stencil back and forth just to kind of create a different look um, and make it not look like I'm using necessarily the same stencil over and over again. So I'm just kind of trying to create some depth in the scene with the variation in grays and also with moving farther back in the scene. And now here I'm lining up the full row across the bottom of the A2 size card and I do have the fold on the top of the card um, but this is a two size, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have my black soot distress ink here and my blending brush. And I'm just going um, with the most heavy hand and the darkest of ink color on this front row. So it's the one closest to the viewer and it's the most um, saturated in ink. So I'm just carefully blending through here, um, but it's really held down quite well on this Wendy Vecchi station tool. Um, you could use pixie spray if you wanted to, but I didn't really see the need in this case. Um, maybe just be a little careful with the delicate bits um, and not, you know, go too crazy with your blending. But overall, I didn't have any issues in this case. So just kind of working through getting that a nice, even rich color here or rich black. I'm just showing you how it looks here. Now it's all very monochromatic here at this point and I know that I want to introduce some color so that's where I'm going to come in with this other stencil here um, and the cute little sentiment. So I'm just taking a look here. I got some extra ink on the top right corner but I was able to get that off with my sand eraser off screen. So I'm just lining up this um, sentiment stencil kind of with the composition. You can see that new home kind of just fits perfectly right over the peak of one of those roofs. And then I'm going to use some um, Catherine Pooler Party Collection. This is Life of the Party. And I know I want to go rainbow with the sentiment. So I'm just pulling out a smattering of these gorgeous, um, vibrant colors and then just kind of working somewhat in a rainbow here across that little sentiment. So you can see it's pretty well masked off um, with this three by six stencil, but I just have more of that post-it tape just to protect the card base um, where I don't want this gorgeous ink to get on the card. So I'm just using my various color families here to work through the rainbow and I think it's just so sweet. New beginnings, new memories, new home. But these would be really easy to mask off if you just wanted to use one of the sentiments. So this is kind of a fun alternative if you don't want to do stamping um, and still kind of just create a card quickly. So this would be something really easy to batch. And like I said, you could totally mask off these sentiments and just use one of them if you wanted. Here's the big reveal, gorgeous pop of color and this nice rainbow look on top of this monochromatic card. So it gives it some interest so it's not all blacks and grays. And next up I'm gonna use the cool bottom part portion of the stencil just to kind of add those little uh, window details into it. And at first I'm thinking that I wanna come at it with um, a gel pen, but you know, if you've worked with gel pens before, then you've probably struggled with gel pens before and you know, they don't always cooperate. So I'm sitting here trying to fill in the spaces um, and kind of struggling. So I'm weighing my options here and I pull out this Posco pen and see if I can try that. And it ends up kind of too wet and goes underneath the stencil. So I decide to just kind of frame in the design um, quickly with my gel pen here just to kind of lay down the design because I don't trust my freehand abilities. <laughs> I'm sure some of you could absolutely make it look nice, but I, I don't trust my abilities there. So I kind of went in um, with the rough gel pen and then 
kind of filled in with my Posco pen on top. It's kind of like a paint marker. So it didn't work just doing that directly in the stencil. It wanted to go underneath it, but it did work to kind of fill in the gaps um, that were left with the gel pen. So another alternative to this, you could um, heat emboss either clear while it's still white and then do the black ink blending layer over it, or you could ink blend black and then do white heat embossing over it. So all sorts of different options, but I hope you enjoy this quick and easy single layer card. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Bye.